With the blazing sunshine raising the mercury to the mid-90s, the Jaguars return to the Florida Blue practice fields for the first practice of the three-day mandatory minicamp. And welcome to Inside the Jaguars, presented by FanDuel. J.P. Shadrick with you. The Jaguars back to work on what is the hottest week of the year so far. And head coach Gus Bradley normally does not address the weather, but said today he talked about it with the team and explaining that this is what it will be like when the pads go on in training camp in late July. It's Florida. It's hot. Be prepared. That's the basic message. And speaking of preparation, one guy who prepares differently than the rest is Leo defensive end Chris Clemens. He reported with the rest of the team yesterday for the mandatory minicamp after deciding not to attend any organized team activities workouts. And that's his right. They were voluntary. But as a 12th year pro, everyone in the building understands his routine, one that has helped him last in the league for a long time. Not a situation of me of coming in and asking for more money like a lot of guys do. Um, it's not a situation of me saying, well, I don't want to get hurt because of those guys been out on the field. That's just the way I focus. That's the way I, that's the way I, I get in my zone. So, um, you know, like I said, when Gus and I and Washer, we talk about that and we get ready for the season, that's the way we, that's the way they know me to focus and get ready for the season so I can bring my best ability to this team. Some other notes from camp. After a little tightness last week, Julius Thomas returned to the practice field Tuesday. And in speaking with the media after, he said, though they're off to a good start, it takes a little time to build chemistry with a new quarterback in a new offense. The boss is in town. Jaguars owner Shad Khan was on the practice field, checking out the progress of the team during the offseason program. And a familiar face for quarterback Blake Bortles attended practice. Central Florida head coach George O'Leary. And those two carried the night's program to the Fiesta Bowl win over Baylor a couple of years back. We welcome in Jaguars.com senior writer John Ozier now and breaking news. It's Florida. It's hot. But this, John, was the hottest day of the year so far. Well, and this is 21 versions of some sort of camp for me. Yep. I don't want to say it's the hottest I've seen because I've been in Jacksonville a long time, but it's very, very warm. And I talking to Luke Joke in the locker room, he said, maybe not the best day to wear black. So hurt him a little well, bit. Well, there you are, too, <laughs> wearing That's black right, right now. Uh, big news today. Chris Clemens back with the team. He reported for a mandatory minicamp yesterday on the field today. Uh, what's, what do you make of all the noise around his return? Well, I've been saying for three weeks, not that big a deal. They're voluntary for a reason because voluntary means you don't have to go. The big news with Clemens today said he returned 17 pounds lighter than he played last season. Yeah. Said that's what he wanted to do is the off season. Uh, it was sort of his goal to get lighter. Felt like the weight may have held him back a little bit last year. So 17 pounds lighter, we'll see if that helps him. One player not on the field this week expected back in training camp is Marquise Lee, the wide receiver, coming back from a knee injury a few weeks ago. Uh, more of a precaution right now, though, it sounds like. Yeah, Gus wasn't specific late when he talked about it, but it certainly sounded when he talked about it like they expect Marquise Lee to be back for training camp. Once again, if these guys who have been out a little bit, Clay Harbor, Marquise, are back for training camp, I don't expect it to be a huge issue once the season gets here. If it lingers into training camp, different story. Day two of the mini camp tomorrow. Are you going to wear white, John? Uh, no, because I don't have it, but I'll... Uh, <laughs> I'll be more ready, put it that way, somehow. I think we all will as well. The Jaguars back on the field. Day two of the three-day mandatory minicamp coming up on Wednesday. We'll have all the post-practice coverage right here on Jaguars.com. That's it for today on Inside the Jaguars, presented by FanDuel.